Hi, this is George Castellon, and this is my June 2020 coronavirus edition market update for San Diego. So how did coronavirus affect the market here in San Diego? Well, on March 19th, the governor issued a stay at home order and actually for the first eight days or so, real estate was non-essential. So we were technically not able to show properties. So after eight days, we were allowed to, and we started to you know, learn how to use virtual tours and FaceTime and whatever means necessary to get the properties in front of homeowners. However, sellers and buyers were pretty cautious in putting their homes on the market or going to look for homes. And I actually saw this more with my sellers than with my buyers. Sellers didn't want to put their home on the market for a couple of reasons. And number one was because of safety issues. There was so much uncertainty about coronavirus and how it spread and if they would get contaminated, if they would catch the disease. So a lot of people just didn't want people coming into their homes. And the second reason was the sellers believed that it was a bad time to sell, that they were going to have to discount their homes because of the coronavirus and because of the uncertainty in the world and in the economy. So a lot of them just decided to wait. Now, buyers were also cautious, but not so much. Really, the buyers, maybe the demand went down, you know, 10 to 15%, but most buyers were still out there looking after maybe a couple of weeks of just waiting in late March, come April, buyers were back out there. And because the demand was pretty steady and the supply was down, you know, 33%, what happened is, is we had a surplus of buyers and a deficit in inventory. We did not have enough home to, homes to sell these buyers. So we actually have a situation right now where we have multiple offers on most of the good homes in the suburban areas. Now in the downtown area, for example, and in the higher price point, that's a little bit different. Uh, downtown, because of the fact that it's just an urban center, I think people are not you know, anxious to get into downtown right now. So demand has taken a hit in downtown. Also downtown buyers, a lot of them, about 35% are people who are buying a second home. And those people with coronavirus, it just wasn't an urgent need for them to buy. And also same with the buyers above a million or 1.2 million. A lot of those buyers have a little bit more time to decide if they want to buy, they're buying second homes. They're not necessarily in a huge need to move. And also buyers above 1.2 million a lot of times buy in cash and they're not as sensitive to the interest rates. Conversely, you know, your bread and butter family looking for a three bedroom, four bedroom home in the suburbs in a good school district is has a need. They have to move because their home is getting too small because of the fact that they want to get their kids into a good school district before the next school year. And also buyers below a million families and first time home buyers, et cetera, are more sensitive to interest rates. And because interest rates are so low right now, around 3.1 or 3.2%, they're taking advantage of that and they're going out there and still looking for homes. So demand has been steady while supply has gone down. Now I'm going to show you the numbers and first I'm going to compare the year over year numbers. So May 2020 compared with May of 2019. And as you can see here, the price, that median price in San Diego has actually gone up year over year. In May last month, the average was 585,000. And in May of 2019, the average was 575,000. So we're still trending up in general. Where we have really taken a hit in May, especially, is the number of sales. That has gone down 46%. So we're usually above 3,000 in the spring and summer months as in terms of number of sales in the county. And this May, we were at around 1,800. So that was a huge dip. The other thing, as I spoke about earlier, is the active listings. We're usually above 7,500, maybe even 8,000 in active listings in the spring and summer months. And in May, we had around 5,000 active listings. So that was a dip of 33%. So the buyers that are out there looking for homes have less to choose from. And if you're a seller, you have less homes to compete against. So that's something to think about. Now, in May of 
2019, we had 3,389 pending homes. Those are the homes that are gonna end up closing in June mostly. And an encouraging number here is the 3,111 pending sales last month, which leads me to believe that we're going to be back above 3,000 sales for the month of June as those pending sales from May close in June. So with that being said, it looks like we're going to be really at around 90% of our normal for number of sales in the county, which is a great recovery coming out of the coronavirus. Now, the next thing I'm gonna look at is the month over month numbers. So basically, April 2020 compared to May 2020. So in April 2020, the median sales price was 600,000, and that was going on a trend of probably about a six or 7% increase from the previous year. So as you see, in May of 2020, the average sales price or the median sales price went down around 15,000 compared to the previous month. Now that means that prices actually did go down on average in San Diego in May compared to April. Now, I think that could be a little bit misleading. I took a look at the numbers and because of the fact that the number of sales above 1 million or 1.2 or 1.5 million, the high end in San Diego definitely the activity went down. So if you have a lot less sales over a million, then it's going to bring the median down. But that doesn't necessarily mean that your bread and butter home for 650,000 in Mira Mesa or Claremont has gone down in price. I think it's actually the opposite. I think those homes have actually gone up in price during coronavirus from April to May because we're out there, we're looking at those homes and they're getting multiple offers. So. Uh, I think that the median sales price in May is affected greatly by the decrease in sales above a million in the county. Now, from April to May, the number of sales went down 16%, and the active listings are around 5,000. Again, that's significantly lower than normal. We're usually at around 7,500. Now, the encouraging thing, encouraging thing here again is that we have over 3,000 pending sales in in May. And I also think that for June, the median sales price is going to be above 600,000 again. We'll see if that happens. So in general, the market has recovered quite nicely and coronavirus has not killed the real estate market yet. Now, what's going to happen when the unemployment federal subsidy runs out where, you know, they're giving everybody who's unemployment on unemployment an extra $600 a week. What's gonna happen when the Fed stops, you know, pumping money into the economy, buying bonds and mortgage-backed securities and everything that they're doing to keep money out there? It could be a situation where three or four or five months down the line, if that happens and they are no longer able to artificially stimulate the economy, that there's going to be a period of time where the market starts to correct. And obviously we don't know that, but right now in mid-June, the real estate market is strong in San Diego. So if you're thinking about selling, I think it's really a strong seller's market right now. If you have you know, a single family home in a good area or in a good price point, you will get multiple offers more than likely. And contact me, of course, if you, if you wanna do that. Now, if you're looking to buy, you're going to be in a competitive market. So don't be discouraged if you have to send two or three or four offers to get one accepted. Now, the payoff is that you're gonna be locking a historically low rate, you know, 3.125, three and a quarter, obviously depends on how much you're putting down, but either way, it's gonna be a historically low rate that you can keep forever. So even though you might pay five or 10,000 more than what you wanted to pay, your monthly payment is gonna be much lower because the rates are so low. And, you know, I recommend if you have a need, if you're looking to be in a good school district, if your condo is too small or if your apartment is too small and you need more space for your family, then I still recommend buying a home. Whenever you do a rent versus buy analysis, and I can help you with that to see what actually benefits you more, most of the time it still makes sense to buy because you're actually paying something down and you're able to generate wealth. So just take a look at it or give me a call and I can definitely advise you on that. Uh, and let you know if it's a good time to buy or not. I'm not one of those agents that say it's always a great time to buy in every scenario. That's not the case. 
you know, if you have a super low rent right now and you're comfortable, then maybe you shouldn't buy. But if you're paying $3,000 a month in rent and buying is only gonna increase that by a little bit, then probably makes sense to buy. So give me a call if you need any advice on that. So thank you for watching my June 2020 coronavirus San Diego market update. And I will be back next month with a new update as we get the numbers for June. So I'll see you then.